and it was after these things. There were sins done by the uh, the drink bearer of the king of Egypt and the baker. Ba'adonihem to their master, the Melech Mitzrayim, the king of Egypt. Ba'iktof paro al shnei sarisav, and paro became angry, the king of, of Mitzrayim of Egypt became angry at these two officers. Al sar ha'mashkem ve'al sar ha'ofen, the head uh, drink bearer and the head uh, baker. Ba'itien otam b'mishmar be'it sar ha'tabachim, and he put them in the jail of the house of Potiphar, the the um, the head butcher, um, el beit ha'sor in this prison. Makom asher Yosef ha'sor sham, the place that Yosef was in prison there. And the the head butcher put Yosef in charge of them, and he served them. They were there for a bunch of days. And they both had dreams. Each one had their own dream, had his own dream. In one night, each one according to the interpretation of his dream. The drink bearer and the baker of the king of Egypt that were um, imprisoned in this jail. And Yosef comes to them in the morning. And he sees them, he knows off him, and he saw they were upset. And he asked these uh, officers of Paro who were with him in the jail, saying, Why do the, your faces look so bad today? And they said to him, We have dreams, but there's nobody that can interpret them for us. And Yosef said, God has interpretations. But tell me. So the drink bearer tells the um, tells Yosef his dream. And he said, In my dream, there was a vineyard in front of me. And on this vine, there were three like like pieces coming off of the vine. They were starting to blossom fruit. And the clusters were ripening the, the grapes. The coast paro biadi and the goblet of paro was in my hand. But I kachata anavim and I took the grapes, the eschat atam and I squeezed them al coast paro, um into the into the uh, cup of paro. But I tena takos al kaf paro and I gave pa- the the goblet into the palm of paro. But yomer lo Yosef and Yosef says that pitrono. This is what it means. Shlosha asari gim the three vines shlosha yamim him represent three days. But od shlosha yamim in three days yisa paro at roshecha paro will forgive your head. But hashivcha al kanecha and he'll give you back your position. But natata kos paro biado and you're gonna give paro his his um, cup in his hand again. Kamish pat harishona just like you always did. Asher ayisa mashkehu like how you always brought him drinks. So please remember me when it's good for you. Please do a kindness for me. His kartani al paro. Mention me to paro. Maybe you can get me out of here. <laughs> I was stolen from the land of the Hebrews and I also did nothing to get myself here. They just put me in this pit. And the baker sees Kitov Patar that that his friend got a good interpretation. And he says to Yosef, I also had a dream. And there were three baskets woven, woven baskets on my head. And on the top basket, all types of like baked goods that are that foods that I make for Paro. And there was a bird eating from that basket that's on my head. Bayan Yosef and Yosef answers by Yomar and he said, Zapitrono, this is its interpretation. Shlosa Salim, Shlosha Yamim. Your three baskets also represent three days. In three days, Yisa Paro at Rosh Chameelach. Paro will will forgive your head from you, but Vatala Utchala eats. But it's he's really gonna lift your head, not forgive. But he's gonna he's gonna hang you on a tree. And birds are gonna eat the flesh off of you.